Right, August the 9th, a little while later, and my Bougainvilleas are actually doing things. So this is one of them. This is a, one of the Tesco ones that I've had for three or four years now. I can't remember what number that one is, but you know, go along here. And then I've got these three, there's two there, and there's one there. And the idea is eventually, for a lot of palaver, just kicked over a cup of tea, they're going to join up or go across that gap. Right, clean the tea up, put a different lens on. So there's the wall that I want those Bougainvillea to go across. So I'm kind of trying to try and do that. Um, there's two there. in the blue pot is a barber cast and this tall skinny one in the black pot that's a Tesco one as well this one over here that one's a Tesco one that's probably four or five years old um, one again that's a, that's an older one as well that's four or five years old so regarding sunlight now I turn over the back there on the wall I don't get sunlight all day long because of that wall but currently at the minute this is like midday so they get a direct sun probably for an hour maybe two hours um, because this canopy protects them, but they're still going alright. Uh, the one on the corner here this doesn't quite get the sun either, so I don't know if that would make a big significant difference. It doesn't seem to make that much difference, but anyway, that's what they're like on August the 8th uh, at the moment. That's the rest of the stuff. Right, there you go. And this is what I feed them with. This is kind of like watching Louis Ahmed's videos, the after plant stuff. I think I've put that on in February and March. I did a little bit just recently. And the all purpose stuff, which I mix up in a bucket of water. I water them with that in. Uh, not that often. In terms of watering, I water them possibly once a month give them like two litres. Most of that drains through straight away. Um, but yeah, and then I let them dry out. So, that right, seems to work. The aggro with it is possibly is the fact that you you do have to bring them indoors. Um, yeah. And they kind of look, look very dead during the winter. They flower once, I think in January, February. Uh, and that's it. But I'll, I'll video that as I go along.